salvation is spoiled. Genesis chapter 3. Now the snake was the most cunning of all the animals that God had made. He saw the woman sitting by herself and came sliding through the grass towards her. Has God really said you must not eat from any of the trees in the garden? The woman looked at him with her wide eyes, curious that this creature had the power of speech. But each day in Eden was full of new discoveries. Well, said the snake, curling around the roots of the tree and gazing at her steadily. We may eat of any tree in the garden, said the woman. But God said that we must not eat the fruit of that tree. She pointed at a tree with a deep, dark radiance far in the depths of the garden. That tree? asked the snake, pretending to be astonished. Oh, yes, said the woman. God said, if you eat the fruit of that tree, if you even touch it, you will die. No, no, said the snake. You will not die. God knows that when you eat fruit from that tree, you will become like him. The snake uncurled himself from the tree and sped through the grasses and climbed swiftly up the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The woman followed. The fruit hung down, rich and luscious, enticing her. She stretched out her hand. She hesitated. She looked around her. Go on. Try it. And the woman seized the fruit suddenly and bit deeply. The snake disappeared into the undergrowth as her husband approached. The man was puzzled to see the woman by the tree, the forbidden tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But she handed him the fruit, and he saw how delicious it looked. He put his tongue to it and tasted. Immediately, they both knew that they were naked. Suddenly, everything in Eden seemed to be different, as if a dark shadow had fallen, and they tied together fig leaves to make themselves clothes. Then, they heard the voice of God as he was walking in the cool of the evening. They ran and hid themselves among the trees. Where are you? God said. The man peered out from the darkness, ashamed. I heard you in the garden, he said. But I was afraid, because I was naked, so I hid myself. Who told you that you were naked? said God. Have you eaten of the fruit of the tree? The woman, stammered the man. The woman, she gave some of the fruit to me, and so I ate it. Why did you do that? God asked the woman, who walked out of the bushes, slowly not daring to lift her face from the ground. The snake! She said, it was his fault. He tempted me, so I ate it. Then God turned to the snake, who was lurking in the depths of the garden, and said, Because you have done this, you will be cursed among the animals. He turned to the man and the woman and told them that through their disobedience, Pain had come into the world. From now on, their lives would be marked by hardship and suffering. The man and the woman stood there, trembling in bitter sorrow. But God took pity on them and made them clothes out of animal skins to keep them warm. 
Yet they were banished from the garden forever, and angels guarded the entrance with a sword of fire.